writing Delirium, I wasn't totally sure that I was going to expand the book, although I wanted to because the appeal of the wilds and exploring the wilds and how Lena would approach the new landscape and, and how she would evolve in the new landscape was so appealing to me. And I felt I really hadn't gotten a chance to explore that at all as a writer. Um, so in some ways I think that um, I did have a sense of the wilds kind of tugging on both Lena and me as an author through Lena. And I kind of wanted to, to go into that, that wilderness with her. When we last saw Lena at the end of Delirium, she had just managed to uh, broach the, the, the wall or the fence that encircled Portland and she, was, uh, she had made it into the wilds. Um, she had also had very, the very grievous experience of, of having lost Alex, the boy with whom she was supposed to escape. The Lena who is in Pandemonium it has definitely been changed. I mean, she suffered a major trauma and she's finding herself in a completely different world, one that's totally unfamiliar for, to her and one that requires utterly different survival skills, both emotionally and logistically, than the ones that she has um, heretofore uh, developed as a person. In a broad sense, you could say like, you know, there's that expression, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, if in Delirium, Lena learns to be a lover, and in Pandemonium, she kind of learns to be a fighter. She has to.